Just twice since 1980 has Kent State football had a winning season. Its last and only MAC title came in 1972. Two seasons ago, the Golden Flashes went 6-6 six and six and hopes were high for 2007, but KSU posted a 3-9 finish. This year, the Golden Blue has won just once in six weeks. That was a 24-3 win over 1AA Delaware State. The losses, Boston College in Cleveland, Iowa State, Louisiana Lafayette, Ball State, and a double overtime 30-27 wagon wheel game loss to Akron in Kent last week. Doug Martin is in his fifth season at KSU. He's 16-36 in that time, and he's been working without one of the better running backs in the country since week three. 5'5 junior Eugene Jarvis suffered an ankle sprain and has been out since, but is expected to see some time in the backfield against Ohio. He was the first team All-Max selection last year and is on the Maxwell and Doak Walker Award lists this year. Ohio fans sure remember him. In KSU's 33-25 win last year in Athens, Jarvis ran for 230 yards and two touchdowns. If Jarvis doesn't see substantial PT, Andre Flowers and Jaquise Terry will. Ohio has seen some dual-thread quarterbacks this year and it will face another one in KSU's Julian Edelman. The six-foot senior from Redwood City, California has 822 yards and seven touchdowns through the air and averages just over 80 rushing yards a game. And he has five touchdowns on the ground this season. Fifteen players, including Edelman, have caught a pass this year. Sean Bays, a senior from Memphis, leads the receiving core with 330 yards. Alan Vanderink is the only other receiver over 100 yards. Jarvis is actually second in receiving yards. Defensively, the Golden Flashes give up some yards, 407 to be exact per game this season, and the Bobcats will have a chance to score. KSU is outscored 31 to 20 on average. Free safety Brian Lanehart is second on the team in tackles and is the Mac East Deep Player of the Week. He had three interceptions last week against Akron. Linebacker Derek Burrell is the anchor of the unit. He's third in the MAC and 16th in the nation in tackling. Like Ohio, special teams will be a focus for KSU, particularly in the kicking game. A missed field goal ended things against Akron, and there were several gaffes at Iowa State. We're on the air on the Citizens Bank Ohio ISP Sports Network at 1.30 with the kick at 2.30. It's Ohio and Kent State. That's the scouting report. For Evan Shaw, I'm Russ Eisenstein, and this is Bobcats TV. Five straight MAC championships, five straight NCAA tournaments. Pack the Convocation Center on Saturday, October the 11th at 7 p.m. as Ohio Volleyball hosts Eastern Michigan. Admission is free with three cans of food from the Athens County Food Pantry. Call 800-575-CATS or log on to ohiobobcats.com. Bring three cans of food for free admission to watch the Bobcats on October 11th. Ohio Volleyball, defining excellence.